Hello, everyone, and welcome to Pass the FE Exam. I'll be your host for today, and my name is Matt Douglas, and I'm the operations leader with EMI. So today I wanna to share with you guys five tips for an encouraging FE exam study process. So as I'm preparing to take the exam myself, I thought about five different tips, and I wanna share them with you all to help you guys along with your journey, and it's gonna help me as well. So as you all know, my journey is going to look a little bit different than the traditional engineer because I have a family and I also have a full-time job. So my hope is to encourage other people that are in similar situations to take their exam and to also get their licensing. And with that, let's jump right in. PPI provides expert prep courses and study resources designed to help you pass the FE exam the first time. PPI's live online courses include hours of lectures, problem solving demonstrations, exam strategy sessions, office hours, and a passing guarantee. When you take a live online course, PPI guarantees you will pass or you can take the on-demand course for free. With study guides, practice exams, and more, the PPI Learning Hub offers digital practice and review that you can take with you anywhere you have a device so that you can prepare during the times most convenient for you. Check out PPI today at ppi2pass.com to see all the options available for FE exam prep. Let's dive in. Tip number one is scheduling. Now, scheduling is the first thing that you need to do. Now, if you don't have the date written down in your notebook, your calendar, your phone, or whatever your preferred method is, you're already losing big time. Now, for me, I'm a pretty busy individual, so reminders have to be in multiple ways for me to be able to remember. I need calendar invites, I need to write down on my notepad, and I also need alerts, and I need alerts for those alerts. But figure out how your system works, stick to it, and schedule it out. Tip number two is to prioritize rest. Now, I know that some of us think that cram studying is the answer, and I know that I had to unlearn that toxic habit myself. It's important to note that rest and breaks, along with set times to study and space repetition, are very helpful in allowing us to be able to retain information. So make sure that you take your rest and get breaks in between your sessions. Overworking your brain has detrimental effects, and even more than that, trying to crash study the night before your exam most likely will never do you any good. Tip number three, get some accountability partners. Now, accountability partners are crucial for your education retention. That's one thing to try to motivate yourself, but it's another thing to have a disciplined group of individuals all aim towards the same goal. So go ahead and form a study group, set dates together, and take time to go through reference manuals. After all, two brains are a lot better than one. Tip number four, come up with a system for studying. So go ahead and set up a system for studying. You have to determine how you study best. You know, it's best to study uninterrupted, but deeper than that, you have to define your method of study. Now, are you going to study uh, one term per week? Are you going to study one subject per month? Um, how would you like that to get done? Are you going to use practice tests or exams or flashcards or YouTube videos? You have to determine your own way, make a system and make it work for yourself. Tip number five is to give yourself grace. So you have to set limits that are suitable for you. And lastly, you have to give yourself grace because the exam is very difficult and it takes a lot of time and a lot of preparation to get ready for it. But you're an engineer and you have a lot of lives that you're responsible for. And it's not gonna be easy to figure out how you're going to systematize your process, but eventually you're gonna have a system that works best for you. So go ahead and give yourself grace and understand that your system does not have to match anyone else's. So for me, I have frequent small study sessions, so about 30 minutes each, and I might do that multiple times per day. Now, that's not exactly where I started. In fact, I try to take off big chunks of time to try to study a mass of material, but it just never worked for me. So you really have to define what works for you. That way you can actually retain all of that information so you can take the FE exam as soon as possible. So that concludes our video, and I hope that you all have enjoyed this video with the Pass the FE exam, and I hope that my tips were very helpful to you guys. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe to this channel because we produce videos weekly for engineers to grow and develop into better leaders and managers in the engineering industry. I'll see you all in the next video.